two of the videos, they, they both spoke about the importance of the Gashka Awards. And what it actually gives prisoners, gives them a name, a goal and to set for, you know. And um, that's very important for us all in life, really, is to have a goal. Even in Google here, like your employees have goals and their responses and things, and they have pushed for them. But this thing here, for prisoners, it's it's more important than that, you know. It's like we know we're doing something right in our lives, and um, it, it really gives us that. Move on to the next step, you know. So um, it might be it might be the first positive award or acknowledgement some of the prisoners might have ever had, and it might be their first um, experience of education and learning that was actually positive. You know, if they've had more um, poor uh, mainstream schooling experiences. Then the mantra of Timmy said earlier on, education is not for me. That could be a huge barrier for people. But if, if when, when, uh, in my own my own journey, when I went back into further education, you know, doing a level three and a level four, it's like adult education is way different to mainstream. You know, why did know that? And it could be fun, and uh, it looks like a lot of fun there. And I know I'm delighted to introduce the acting CEO of Goshka, Alfred Ryan. Good morning everybody, it's lovely to see you all here and just to kind of comment on the fantastic videos, um, you know Anita uh, and Donica are both uh, fantastic supporters of Gashka as president ward leaders, uh, Anita have been involved since 2007 and as she said they're supporting uh, the very first two gold awards in the Midland prison and of course Donica, I don't know where you are at the moment, uh, we've worked really closely with Donica over the years and he's spearheaded so many uh, Gashka innovations in the Irish Prison Service um, and I suppose one of the, the more recent ones was the, the innovative story exchange project with the uh, Maynooth Access Programme as our partners as well so um, just wonderful work. Um, I'm delighted to be here. This is a really innovative conference uh, for Gashka to be involved in with our fantastic partners in Working to Change. Um, and of course, thank you to Google, because look at this amazing venue, it's, it's inspirational. Um, so just to really talk to you a little bit about Gashka, because you may or may not know, um, Gashka's mission is to provide a positive youth de development program that encourages and guides young people so that their innate talents and abilities, sense of citizenship and social agency can be fully realized. And our vision is an Ireland where young people can dream big and fulfill their potential. The work is more important than ever in youth justice settings, as we've heard, um, as a catalytic programme for young people looking to navigate towards more positive horizons and pathways. The Gashka framework provides the tools and the building blocks for our president award leaders like Anita and Donica to guide young people through their award activities that can enhance their personal development and help them demonstrate to themselves, potential employers, colleges and other educational opportunities what they are made of. Gashka's holistic framework sets challenges that help young people gather that experience together through a non-formal education framework so that they can communicate those positive outputs and outcomes through Gashka's personal skill, physical recreation, community involvement and team or adventure journey challenges which progress from bronze to silver to gold award levels. A Gashka Award gives young people the opportunity to be a leader in their own decision making by mapping their award journey and setting goals to be met. Everyone's journey on their award are relative to their own experiences and abilities and it's not about comparing or competing with anyone but yourself, ensuring you lead by getting the most from that experience. The positive impact of our programme has been proven through research by Neve Clark McMahon, which concluded that the Gashka programme increases self-confidence, self-efficacy, hope and general well-being. Most significantly, this research provided us with the evidence that Gashka meets the criteria to be a positive youth development programme. And our research supports that interventions such as Gashka can have an even greater impact on the personal development of young people from more, more marginalised backgrounds. In 2021, research was carried out by UCD's Sylvia Gagliardi and Orla Rice on the impact of Gashka for young people in prison. And it found that most participants, Gashka acted, for most participants, Gashka acted as a motivation and accountability mechanism that helped them to achieve their goals and took them out of their comfort zone. 
They also concluded that participants reported increased levels of self-esteem, self-efficacy and an overall sense of well-being as a result of participating in Gashka. And the sense of achievement associated with completing a Gashka Award was of huge value to participants who statistically achieve less conventional educational and other milestones than young adults outside of prison. And as a result, they appreciated and need, needed Gashka the most. This research to date is just the tip of the iceberg, with more room to evaluate and interrogate the positive outcomes for young people engaged with Gashka in all youth justice settings. This impact has been felt by many young people, uh, such as one young man whom I call John, not his real name. And before undertaking the award, he, he had kind of found himself in a situation, you know, which was difficult and, you know, he had lost all hope. And he was persuaded by a member of the prison staff, where he was, uh, to sign up for the Gashko Award. So he registered for a writing course, signed up for the gym, and began, began volunteering with the Red Cross. And as he progressed, something extraordinary began to happen. He became more engaged and connected, and felt that he was part of something bigger than himself, and his hope began to return. John, who I'll call him that, said his experience was truly magical and transformative, and he felt a huge sense of equality achieving a Gashka that was equally available for him to achieve as any other young person in Ireland. John went on to pursue a degree level writing course and eventually received his gold award from the President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins. John's pal is in the room today and uh, we'll be uh, giving that person a civic merit later on. Through our partnership with the Irish Prison Service, the Probation Service and other youth justice services, we've heard lots of those stories. We hear them every day and we've heard them here today from everybody and you know, it's really inspirational. But I want to pay particular tribute to the, the value of the President Award Leader, and there are many in the room. They are the guiding inspiration, that one good adult we've all spoken about that support the delivery of the Gashka program. And we are delighted that we will recognise some of those fantastic pals from the Irish Prison Service and the Probation Service later on today with our Civic Merit Awards. Indeed, we'll be doing some after this. Um, so, to kind of finish, I would like to thank all of my wonderful colleagues in Gashka, uh, particularly Sheena, Marion, Karen and Emily, who put so much work in today, and the rest of the team are all here to support. Uh, special thanks to Siobhan from Working to Change. You started all of this. Uh, we really, really appreciate it, and we're so delighted to have collaborated with you. Um, you know, we're really proud of today and, and the work that we've done. Um, and finally, I wish to acknowledge the wonderful partnership Gashka has with the Irish Prison Service. Um, over many, many years, they've been exemplar in terms of their commitment to embedding Gashka and creating links for young people to complete their award across the prison estate and beyond custody through the leadership of the fantastic Director General, Karen McCaffrey, who has spearheaded uh, the creation of the National Steering Committee to progress Gashka um, with other partners like the pr uh, Probation Service and other challenge partners like the Red Cross. Um, and I'd like to welcome Karen to the stage, Gurmeel Mela Mahada. Thanks very much, Avril, for your kind words. And can I just say how honoured I am to be here today, but not just honoured, humbled. I am to be following the speakers we've heard from this morning and proud um, of the wonderful work that we've heard um, happens within our prisons. Um, I'm really delighted to be presenting Civil Emerit Awards to a group of such deserving recipients. And I think you've heard about the PALS and the role they play and the transformational change that they can support people um, through within our, our setting. I really want to thank Google uh, for hosting this event. Businesses here today and employers like Google can and do make a difference when their recruitment policies are open to those with a history of offending. And I think Google hosting this event today is a really clear indication of their support and the fact that significant change is happening. And I really want to thank you, David, um, and your team for all of the effort that's gone into uh, supporting us today. As you've heard um, from different contributors, Gashka is hugely important to the Irish Prison Service and it's a programme that I really am deeply and personally committed to. Um, it's been operating in our prisons since 2004. I think Donica referenced that he's been involved since 2004, which is 18 years ago, which is really um, incredible. And to date, over 200 awards have been presented to individuals across our estate. I'd like to especially acknowledge the personal commitment of our president, Michael D. Higgins, to this programme. 
President Higgins has been a huge source of support for those in custody, visiting our prisons on a regular basis and fully recognising that those in our care continue to contribute and be members of the community. We're all very grateful for his continued support and commitment. Today's event is about change and providing hope for the future beyond the walls of our prisons. We know that there are many barriers, and, and, and I think James and Timmy have really spoken about them in depth, um, that face people when they're leaving our care as they seek to restart their lives. Their hope is not just to exist after prison, but to make an important contribution to obtaining a career which will help them to support themselves, help them to support their families, and avoid a return to custody, which is unfortunately, unfortunately something that is all too common. Today is about breaking the cycles of crime and inequality and giving people hope and pathways for a different future. The Working to Change um, strategy, which we've heard about, sets out a really clear direction for supporting employment options for people with convictions by working to remove the systemic barriers the Minister spoke about that make progressions to careers challenging. Working to Change is an ambitious and far-reaching strategy which aims to increase employment options for those with offending histories. And I think it's really important for me to acknowledge Siobhan Cafferty and the incredible and brilliant work she has been doing on behalf of the department in delivering this strategy, energising us, inspiring us, pushing us, uh, pulling us sometimes, um, Siobhan. Uh, so I really just want to thank you. Not kicking, no pulling. <laughs> for her continued effort. I think there's a lot of change that needs to happen in society, but there's also a lot of change that needs to happen within the criminal justice system when we talk about giving people a second chance. Um, so recently the prison service has introduced and commenced the implementation of social clauses in our procurement processes for some contracts. Uh, two contracts that we've got out at the moment contain evaluation criteria in support of social procurement and essentially what the, criti or what the uh, clauses do are award extra marks to tenderers when they can show that their plans include training or employing people with offending histories. And I think this is a really significant step forward for the public sector, uh, for the prison service, and I'd really encourage other public sector bodies or businesses um, to look at doing the same and include social causes, clauses in your procurement processes. An important part of today's event is about sharing a number of key messages. To those in custody, and we know this will be played on our television channel and we're going to reach everybody uh, we're talking about today and that's really, really inclusive. There is hope and there will be opportunity for you when you are released, so continue your journey and your engagement with the important services that are available to you um, while you're in our custody, which will give you the necessary skills and the self-confidence and the self-belief to take on positive opportunities that will hopefully come your way after release. For employers who are here today, the message is simple. See the person for who they are now and today and not who they were in the past. Accept that people can and do change and help us to continue to unlock the potential within the person you see before you. By doing so, you will contribute to reducing reoffending and making all of our communities safer. We all have a part to play. And finally, we have an important message of thanks to our President Award leaders, without whom there would be no GATCA programmes within our prisons. To you, the message is a very simple, but a very profound and a heartfelt thank you. President Award leaders, as you've heard, voluntarily undertake training to become an award leader and they support the Gashka programme directly within their prisoner institution. Staff in each prison are encouraged to train to become a President Award leader or PAL so that they can become that significant, strong and influential model in a person's life while they're in custody and into the future. I really want to thank our dedicated staff and teachers without whom, as I say, Gashka would not happen in our prisons. The awarding of the Civic Merit Award today is an acknowledgement of the significant role you play in transforming lives and working to change. So on that note, it gives me pleasure now to present our Civic Awards. <laughs>